Okay, hi. Sorry, I was, I was with another patient. Oh, what's, I'm so glad I'm here. So this is a 64-year-old woman who was admitted two days ago with pancreatitis and liver disease, and she's known varices. Um, she's not on, taking any medications, but she's just been on hydromorphone while she's been here. No allergies. About uh, half an hour ago, she started vomiting um, red blood, bright red blood. It's here. So, um, and then she started dropping her blood pressure. So it's down to 81, and she's tacky. Um, they did do uh, blood work this morning. Her hemoglobin was 97, and her platelet count was 78, and her INR was 1.8. 78 platelets. Yeah, her platelets are 78. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's not very good. Um, Okay. Do you want me to show you how much blood? Oh, yeah, yeah, how much blood? Yes, that would be good. Um, oh my, that's a lot of blood. I can understand. Yeah, and it's okay. still, like, she's still vomiting. Yeah, coming yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to be, you're going to be okay. We're going to take care of you. Just having some, some bleeding. Uh, so, uh, oh, we have to do a number of things. So I think we're going to need, uh, we're going to need some, some blood, some labs, uh, some oxygen, uh, blood bank. she have a group in the screen? She had a group in screen uh, yesterday because they knew that she had varices. Okay, uh, so that's it. Uh, we'll probably, uh, I think one of my colleagues is out there. Can you call him? I might okay. need some help okay. here as well. The patient's a little bit unstable. Uh, Hi, 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 Connor. Thanks for coming. Sorry, I've been so busy with chest pain all morning. Um, this patient is a known uh, liver disease with some varices, kind of cirrhosis. Uh, she's having a GI bleed with a fair bit this morning, so and she's not really, uh, blood pressure is quite soft. I'm a little bit worried about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to do a few things. So uh, let's call for a unit of blood, uh, need some IV. Um, do you what? want to get an IV first? And so then... what? Can you do the IV maybe? Yeah. To the actual, some blood tubing? Okay, I will and go get... blood. Should we get a transfusion protocol? And, um... Yeah, do you want to call? No, so let's just do one. Much. I'm afraid to waste blood, so let's only do one at a time. We'll only do one at a time. Okay, you just want one unit? Um, yeah, no, let's just try. Okay, I, I thought I worried. Let's do one unit at a time, then we'll get some blood work at the same time, and we'll do our transfusion based on the lab work. Okay, so we'll okay. lab by the transfusion. Okay, I'll call in the first unit. Okay, okay, that'd be great. And we'll get a phlebotomy nurse as well, so we can do some blood, see where we're at. Um, and that, so we have IV. Let's open up the IVs going wide. Uh, can we cycle? Okay. Can you just press that start stop button and we'll cycle the blood pressure cuff again? That's great, thank you. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, heart rate's not so good. Um, maybe some oxygen. Uh, let's get some oxygen on her. Uh, Blood pressure's still pretty soft. Uh, yeah, it looks better. It was 84, it was 81 before, so you know it's moving in the right direction. Uh, she probably has low blood pressure normally. We know what her vitals were. Her, yeah, her vitals this morning were blood pressure was 120 over oh, 76. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, we'll keep a close eye on that. We'll give lots of fluids. Uh, you know, with some fluids and, and a bit of blood. She's probably about you know a couple hundred mils of blood loss. Okay, let me so check if the blood's this. here. I think I see the corner. Okay, that'd be great. Um, come on, and that's great. Can you just check that blood? I think the car is over there. Yeah, why don't you check, uh, uh, check that. We're still giving that. Uh, you're going to be okay. We're looking after you. Things are getting better. Um, yeah, that's just fine. Right yeah. uh, okay. Maybe, uh, should we check that blood against the patient um, before you end uh, yeah, it? Does she have a good idea. Oh yeah, there's her arm back here. So why don't you do that? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, her blood pressure is still low. Do you think we might need more blood? Uh, no, I think ultimately we will need more blood, but you know, uh, I'm really afraid of wasting or using too much. I don't want anything to go away, so we're going to do one unit at a time, uh, and then we'll do blood tests between, uh, between between each unit and make sure that we don't over transfuse or like this. Okay. Do you want to run the blood faster? Yeah, I think let's run it uh, run it wide open. So I think we can run the blood fast. Uh, and then we'll get some lab tests, and uh, I'll, re I'll reassess her uh, in a bit. So I'm just going to go see uh, chest pain. I'll be back in just a little bit. Um, oh, I think she's pretty unstable. Uh, okay, are you able to stay in health? Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, that, that's sure. Great. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, how are we doing? Uh, not good. Oh. Blood pressure is still 84. Oh, do we have any lab tests back yet? Yeah, her hemoglobin's down to 72, her platelets are 58, her INR is 2.2, her 2.2 now, okay. 1.6. Oh my. Uh, what were her platelets again, you say? Uh, 58. 58, okay. So I think we really need some more products. So we're going to have to need uh, another unit of blood, um, and then another one pool of platelets, 
I think we need two of FFP at this do, point. Do you think we maybe need to call a massive hemorrhage protocol? Uh, no, she hasn't gotten worse, so we're not really that unstable yet. So I think let's give her some more volume and some more blood, and one more set of blood work, and maybe at that point we might have to. But right now, I think I still don't want to waste any blood, so we're still going to do one one at a time. So why don't okay. we get those okay. at that Great. point, and then we'll see what happens uh, when that happens. How's it, how's it going? Sorry, I looked at another patient. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so uh, this is a 64-year-old woman. She was admitted two days ago with pancreatitis and liver disease, and she has known varices. And she was stable this morning, but then about a half an hour ago, started vomiting bright red blood, and oh. she dropped her pressure. Her blood pressure is now 84 over 47. She had blood work this morning. Her hemoglobin was 97. Her platelet count was 78, and her INR was 1.7. Um, and that's where we are. Uh, do you want me to show you? Well, yeah, how much blood did she vomit this morning? Yeah, she just. Well, that's a lot of blood. This came out just recently. Yes, yeah, just now. So. Okay. That's great. That's that's a quite a bit of blood. So and she has no uh, varices. I remember her talking about her rounds this morning. Yeah, okay. she has no varices. So uh, you're having a bit of a bleed there. We're gonna look after you, but you might need a bit of a blood transfusion. Okay. So uh, I think we have a significant problem here. Uh, with a major GI bleed. So uh, let me get my, oh, I have my little cog today here uh, for GI bleeding. Uh, so let me see what we have to do. So I think we need to call the massive hemorrhage protocol, but we probably need some help in here. One of my colleagues is at the desk. Do you okay. need to call them for, yep. some, for some help? Yep. 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 Hi, how can I help? Hi. Uh, that's great. So the first thing I need, I better get some gloves on. So that's the first thing I should do. Oh, yes, some gloves on. Yeah, here you go. Okay, this patient is a known liver disease. Okay. Uh, she has varices and she's having a GI bleed. Okay. So she's quite uh, anemic, uh, thrombocytopenic, uh, and uh, and with the background of significant liver disease. Okay. So we're going to have to call a massive hemorrhage protocol. So, so I'm going to have you call the index. Can you get an, an IV? Yeah, I'm ready with some blood tubing. Okay, so we're going to start the massive hemorrhage protocol. The blood banks were notified. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have a team. Anybody else we need here to help us out? We're going to get a runner. Yeah, so usually the porter will be on its way. Great, that's fantastic. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, is there anyone else we need We need right now? I think uh, we might need another nurse uh, shortly. Yeah. Just some oxygen prongs for you, just some oxygen here. That's great. Uh, okay, uh, so we might need some more nurses in a minute or two, but I think okay. right now we're okay. Uh, lab test. She had some lab tests this morning. We're going to need more lab tests probably as things go along. Yes. So why don't we call with some lobby nurse uh, and have her come by because we're going to need some labs okay. as we go along. Sure. So the porter's just brought in the first um, cooler of blood. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Do you want... Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. so why don't we get uh, the first cooler of blood. And, uh, that's great. So what came in this cooler this time? So this has four units of red blood cells. Okay, fantastic. So I think we'll start with four units of red blood cells. Um, you know, because she's from this idea, I think we may uh, get some platelets as well uh, to start with. Sure. So why don't you call the blood bank? Uh, sure. Let me know the patient is Vanessa Tyrell. Okay. Uh, and uh, they know about the patient because it's already under the massive pro protocol. And then ask for one pool of platelets, please. Sure. Okay. Uh, we better get some temperature on it. So okay. we'll be able to uh, hook her up to a temperature. Okay. That's a probe. Uh, so here we go, the temperature probe here. And we'll have the temperature up on a monitor. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to need. Uh, temperature is 36.5. Okay. We're going to need a better food warmer and maybe another warm blanket on it. Okay. So could you get the food warmer? It should yep. be on the floor. Uh, if you're able to find another blanket yeah. somewhere, I think I see some over there, sure. in the corner. So, uh, yep, that's fine. Uh, so we'll get that. Okay. That's fantastic. So we'll, we'll get the blood there. So here we go. So here we have this and this. We'll hook it up. You can hang it up there, so we'll put okay. it through the warmer. Okay. Um, when you call the blood bank, 
Okay, uh, did you request a trend, uh, ratio transfusion or just doing the standard to? I just asked for the massive hemorrhage protocol. Okay, so I think fine. they'll just bring it over. Yeah, they usually bring whatever packs are okay. available. Uh, that's correct. Right. This is okay. checked. Okay, so we're going to modify the protocol by adding a bit of platelets at first. Okay. okay. I think the platelets are here. Okay, that's great. So we're going to have to check. Are you able to check the platelets as well? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. band is there again. Okay. Great. Are you able to cycle the blood pressure cuff again there? Yeah. We're getting lots of fluids now. Platelets checked. Right. Platelets have been checked. That's great. Okay. And hopefully, blood pressure will be a bit higher now. We're getting a bit of fluid. Great. So, blood pressure is up to 93. Uh, let's have a brief summary here. Okay. So, we know she's bleeding. We've triggered a massive hemorrhage protocol. We've uh, called for help. We're keeping her warm. Uh, we have the first pack is coming. Platelets are coming. Uh, anything else we need to do here at this point? Um, I think there are some tubes connected with the massive hemorrhage protocol cooler. So okay. should we do some blood work? Yeah, too? yeah, we'll do some blood work. That would be great. So we'll send off some blood work for that. That's great. Okay, so we'll, we'll draw that. Um, we are you moving in the right direction. Vital signs. So I just have to monitor make sure she doesn't lose too much blood. Um, now what you can do, are you able to, to uh, have one of your colleagues just call the GI people? She might need an urgent scope this afternoon okay. to something to do with her varices. We should probably let GI know that she's having a GI. Okay. 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 So just tell one of your colleagues to do that for you. That would be great. Uh, what else, Connor? Anything else to think of right now? The plasma's right. here as well. Okay. Great. Ready to check that in a second. Let's get that going. Okay, so how, how are we doing? I know it's been a while. We've sent off some bloods. Today. Yes, so the lab just called the bloods in. Um, the hemoglobin is uh, 65, the platelets are 58, the INR is 2.3, and the fibrinogen is uh, 1.0. Oh my. Um, lactate's uh, 3, pH is 7.34. Okay, uh, and GI, GI is aware of what's going on? GI's been called, yeah, Fantastic. they're doing another urgent case right now. Yeah. So, you know, this is a complex patient with liver disease. Uh, we're, we're trying to do things, I'm not sure we're gaining much. I wonder if it'd be time for a transfusion medicine consult. Is it possible for you to call them okay. and just get yep. the transfusion medicine, medicine doc on the phone and okay. see if there's something we're missing because I think we need some more products. I'm not exactly sure which products we need. Okay. So, if you're able to call them, that'd be great. I'll get out of your way. I've got them on the line, so okay. um, just, oh hi, yeah, hi, um, this is a, is this a transfusion medicine doctor? Okay, yeah, so this is um, a 64 year old who uh, has pancreatitis and varices and she started vomiting blood. Um, anything else you want me to tell her? Yeah, well they, uh, they've been activated for an hour, so I think she probably, oh, okay. she knows about the Oh yes, that. she knows about the case. Yes, right. Yeah, she's been looking yeah. at the yeah. blood But if she can look at the most recent labs, and I think we need some guidance about what products we have here in the face of bad liver disease. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she says she's pulling it up. Yep. Okay, and then she just wanted to check the temperature. So our temperature is 36.5. We're doing what we can to keep her warm. Can you hear, can you hear the doc? Oh, yeah, she can hear you. Okay, great. I'll speak loud so she can hear me. Yeah, phone. okay. Yep, so... Uh, great, thank you. Okay, she's looking at the labs. Um, she says we're maybe a little bit um, behind on the platelets. Uh, the platelet count's 58, so she said to give another set of platelets. So one or two more pools, what do you, what do you think? Um, she says just one for now, okay. and then but she'll make sure the blood bank has more ready. Okay. And then the fibrinogen's 1.0, so have you ordered uh, fibrinogen? Uh, no, we gave some FFP, but we haven't ordered, so maybe we should get some fibrinogen uh, concentrate. Okay. So what did you recommend, four grams? Yeah, or? she said four grams. Okay, so we'll get four grams of that. Okay, and uh, yeah, have you done another labs too after the after the next set? Uh, it's been a while. I think we'll probably do every one hour. We'll probably do for another set of labs now. Okay. Thanks. All right. Um, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. Yeah. She says just you know keep going, and uh, she'll make sure the blood bank's ready and getting keeping ahead in terms of the blood products. Perfect. That's great. Okay. Thanks. So uh, we'll keep the fluids going. We'll uh, you able to call the blood bank and uh, do what she asked you to do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I may, yeah. I will call. I'll just make sure. Yes. Make sure. Okay. Yes. That was twice. I'm going to cycle the blood pressure one more time. Make sure we're heading. Hopefully, we're heading in the right direction. Um, you're doing great. You're going to be okay. You may have to look at your stomach later to see fix things up. But things are going very well. Good. Blood pressure is up. Okay. Blood pressure is up. That's great. So I think maybe I'll just go out and I'll talk to GI and see what their plans are for me. 
Right. So okay, you want to stay by your bedside just a little bit more, just so we're, we're stable. Absolutely. And when the blood comes from the blood bank, if you're able to check his hematuria, that would be great. You bet. Okay, any questions right now? Nope, that's perfect. Nice. Thanks.